really happy I cut the grass. Really, really happy I cut the grass. You know, on mornings when it's dark, like it's been storming all morning long since about 4.30, pouring down rain. This is the early edition. Sometimes when it's like that, I just want to come out here to the shop, sit here in this studio, and watch some jellies. Over here at the finishing desk, I'm just going to show you guys a few pieces today. Uh, then we've got to get right back into spraying. I'm going to start with this olive back crawl. You guys may or may not have seen this on Instagram last night. I threw it on there at like 11 o'clock last night. It was a late night. I'm super sleepy today. So if I sound like I'm dragging, I apologize. Um, it's going to, we're going to have some late nights here in the shop the next couple of weeks, just hauling butt towards the fall. That fall bite's coming y'all. That's when everything starts schooling and feeding heavy for that winter lag. This is a 2.5 square bill rattling. Good rattle on it. Heavy rattle on it. I like that. I like the heavier, deeper sound rattle on these than I do the, um, the high pitched BB stuff, especially when they use like plastic BBs. Cause I've seen that happen in some of the cheaper, again, not all of these are alike. At some point, I'm inclined to take a few of these apart and show you guys the differences internally on some of this stuff. And if you'd like to see that on this channel, I will be happy to make that happen. So drop me a comment below and let me know whether, you not, whether or not you guys want me to take apart these guys and show you the differences between some of the places that you get them from. But that is the Olive Back Crawl. It's pretty. It's one of my faves. I've seen Tej do this. He's famous for doing this and it's the stencil that we're all using but I first I have I have to be honest when I can be honest I normally do like the I'll do a spray on here but when I got when I started getting these stencils in from Brian oh my goodness they're just amazing amazing stencils and they really really enhance your crawfish patterns so Brian best I, I I can't say enough good things about you lately because I've just been using the bejesus out of your stencils. But yeah, Tej does this real heavy. I think TJ Hatfield does it on a few of these, although he's a sponger. There's some stuff that I, and I, you know, I still have, I think I can get to one. Some of the stuff that TJ does in comparison, he uses a sponge, just a damp sponge on his stuff. And this is just a TJ Hatfield, by the way, if you guys want to get, uh, acquainted with him he he lives on facebook but just some very and i've i've been seeing a lot of people copy tj's uh, original stuff patterns too so as long as you guys are giving props to the people that are out there doing it please give them some recognition if you're going to try and replicate imitate patterns i try not to do that although on this one it just it can't be helped because a stencil is a stencil but it's a really good pattern but again I first saw Tej do it, so that's his deal. So yeah, uh, this is definitely something for the underground artists out here. Um, there's a lot of really good, and, and I hope that you guys are not just checking out my work. There's a lot of really good stuff. You can find them on Facebook. You can find them on Instagram. Um, custom Lures. That's uh, support your small business. We are, in, in my humble opinion, you're not my competitor, you are my community, and we work stronger together because small businesses are really struggling this year. So make sure that you uh, acquaint yourselves with a few of these guys that are out here hustling and working really hard. Obviously, Chris Grout is among them. And uh, when you just hunker down, stay with it. Stay with, don't give up. Don't give up on yourselves. You never know. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave 30 seconds before the miracle. So this is a little, little lipless deal. I have not tested this. I will. Um, about two and three quarter inches. Do like the patterns. Love the color scheme on this. That dark green and purple into the fluorescent red. And then we're getting into now. This was part of the order. Um, a lot of this in here is part of one single order. 
This right here is a foiled version of my Rayburn's Revenge, obviously off of the Rayburn Red pattern that you so commonly see on so many baits. So obviously the, the Rayburn's pattern is where I got this, but this is a hand cut stencil. So I use all hand cut stencils on this and then the dots are hand painted in over the stencil. So just a really good replication. This is foiled and I can show you comparison to comparison the difference between the foil which is going to really reflect that light in certain conditions and then this is just the deep see I'm, <laughs> I'm still completely painted up from last night so I'm getting ready to get right back into it this morning but yeah the, the foil you can see is, is got that that shimmery effect whereas the non foil has got just that deep color pattern just, I love Rayburn's. Rayburn's color scheme is, and of course, Rayburn out of Texas. Um, they're beautiful. I, and when you, can, when you can fade that down properly, you sure can. And I've done, there is a video that shows you step by step on how I mix colors for this. It's, I think it's a two part, a two part video. Just look at, um, I did a run of Rayburn's. So it's in the spray session playlist here on the channel. But there's those two. I'm constantly evolving this European Hornet. Just added a few little things to the underside, just a little shading. Got the legs on here, hand cut stencils on those. I hand cut most of my own stencils for stuff. And it's just, it's not, I don't use a cry cut. I don't use any kind of machinery. It's an X-Acto knife and really thin, reusable cardboard. That's it. And you guys have seen me do it a million times on these videos. And that's how I like to do it. It keeps it unique. It keeps it uh, a pattern that's signature to just you that not everybody is doing. Um, with the exceptions of the stuff that I get from Russ, Russ Allen at Insane and Brian Best over at Anarchy Model UK. Um, I prefer to cut my own. Love that rattle. Prefer to cut my own stencils. The Imperial Crawl on that 110 holographic. So pretty. So pretty. These are, I've talked about this before on this bait as well, but these. You really have to be careful and know what you're ordering. Schultz is pretty good for ordering. They have a couple of different ones. But a lot of these that you'll get like off of Amazon or off of uh, distributors here in the States are not the floating kind. They're not the suspending kind. Most of the stuff that's floating around out there that people are buying up is a slow sink. So make sure you know what you're getting before you get it. The only um, distributor that I've seen that does, uh, maybe Predator does a couple of different versions of these, Predator baits, if you look them up online. Um, I will buy from them for particular types of baits as well. But again, I'm, I'm thin in the herd. But this one, I'm not sure um, because I did not purchase it from Schultz. So I'm not sure what the capabilities on this one is. It's probably suspending or slow sink, more than likely. But this is that really pretty Imperial Crawl just a little bit of ice blue in here and then there's those eyes one more of these natural trout and this is uh, just kind of meshed over a holographic foiled background beautiful beautiful pop on that and these are the, I want to say they're the Living Skulls size 7. These take a size 7 eye, as do the Red Eyed Shad. I think Red Eyed Shad would suit almost an 8 millimeter eye. Really pretty bait. Like those. And then we've got these three to finish out. See, I do it all the time. I know. Tripod right in my way these three to finish out the day just a 
standard pretty little bluegill. Lots of depth in the meshing on this. And these are Jetson Lure Eyes. He's up here. He lives at JetsonLures.com. The Chesapeake Striper. And you're like, have we seen? Yeah, the first batch of these went out already. Um, and this is, and you know, this is synthetic hair. So if you get one, and it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. But if you're obsessive compulsive, kind of like I am, you can trim that hair up just a little bit. And I heard, I was, I don't know the answer to this, but I, I was reading one of the questions on I don't know if it was mine because I featured these a good bit I'm not sure if it was my video or if it was on an Instagram feed from Carl's bait and tackle or if it was from actually bullshed swim baits one of the three was asking if there are replacement tails available for these baits because if you get a big bite on there uh, he had a fish rip his tail off um, and and it happens on occasion if you get a pike or something or a pickerel just jamming on the, the end of this bait. Not to my knowledge, as best I can recount, I don't believe there are something you would want to check with Ketchco on because it's their assembly. They've collabed with Mike from Bullshad Swim Baits, um, but they are actually producing, Ketchco is producing this bait for Mike Buca in collaboration with Bullshad. It is a, a Ketchco Bullshad collab. And I am just the custom painter that's doing these cool things on these baits. And I love them. Half an ounce. This is that um, South Miami Peacock. This is the fifth one that I've done in the Peacock. Again, orders from you guys when, when they first hit, uh, when Ketchco featured them on Instagram. Two weeks ago now, last week, I, the, the days are all jumbling together, but that was their first introduction on these. Um, I am going through the orders that I got on that now. So they're getting done. I've got another massive box of these coming to Jekyll. And that, folks, is all the news that's fit to print. I'm going to get right back into spraying. I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes this morning. I hope you have a great day and a fantastic rest of your week. Cheers.